the phoenix is rising high so i just thought about something because i'm dealing with a lot of drama in my environment unfortunately and i'm trying to record the my course that's coming in november uh, to teach you guys about uh, cluster B personalities and to help you get to your authentic self using the tools to be able to block them and, and uh, you know, do a, whatever. And so what I woke up this morning, immediately about nine, nine o'clock, went to go walk my dogs. And it's amazing with, pe with people who are immature, these adult babies, these people with a lack of emotional intelligence, with a lack of, of, uh, a desire to change their lives. When they want attention, what happens is, is they will create a distraction for you, right? Because they, they'll do things around you so that you notice. And when you notice them, then that means they can hook themselves into you, right? So that's what's been happening. There are people, again, there are people here, people in this world who are so flipping toxic and so immature that the only thing they know is to throw a temper tantrum around a person that they feel can heal them temporarily, right? They just want the fish. They don't want to learn how to fish. So they will create distractions for you. They will threaten you. They will create loud noises. And just to get your attention, just to have some people are so lonely that negative interaction is better than no interaction at all. So then when you do, if you do take the bait, you end up dealing with 20, 30, 40 years of these people and their baggage that's been rotting all this time inside of these people because they've self-medicated using drugs, using alcohol, using sex. And they don't want to. I've noticed that with people who are insecure with themselves, right? They don't, they don't know how to function in life. They're extremely loud and obnoxious. And unfortunately, I see this a lot in Black people. You know, I can understand talking loud because you're passionate about something. What I can't understand is talking loud just to tell somebody to go and take the trash out. Talking loud just to tell somebody to open the door because you're coming through. That's what I don't understand, right? There are certain things that are overboard, so overboard that they become toxic. These are the people, Phoenixes, that you stay away from. Because these are the people who are energy vampires under the auspice of culture, right? Well, this is what we do. If you're not black or you're not white or you're not Hispanic or you're not Asian, if you don't do this, even though it's toxic for you, you recognize it as toxic. You react to that energy it, you know, as if something has just, as poison has just been poured on you. And it's unfortunate. So for me, what I do with these people is I set a hard boundary, a very hard boundary. And I utilize what I have in the environment. In this case, make a phone call either to the police or make a phone call to the, the management, right? Because if I pay my rent, and I expect quiet. This it's not summertime. There's no special festival happening. These people are just high, drugged up, and want attention. So, and then the thing is, is moving out of the way. I don't think that people realize how powerful moving out of the way of people who are toxic really is. A lot of people, you know, they let their pride get to them. Pride, com pride cometh before the fall. You have to swallow that. Because a lot of times, if we just moved out of the way, stepped on the other side of the street, put our headphones on, moved to another place when we could, right? Kept silent and not responded. Because I have to admit, 
this morning because of going through, you know, some energetic stuff of my own and doing my own processing, I was really ready to be about that life. You know, it's not that it doesn't come up. It's having the intelligence and to stop yourself and to process it. So get away from toxic people, get away from people who are loud and obnoxious and just want to, to explode onto everybody else, because that's how it was when they were a child. That's what they saw, you know? And I mean, I grew up with that. I grew up with people in my space that I didn't know under the guise of blackness, you know? Under the guise of blackness, I had men in my face who were sexual offend sex offenders. Under the guise of blackness, I had women who were draining my energy and talking shit about me. Under the guise of blackness, I, you know what I mean? I didn't go further than what I could because these people were dictating what was black enough and what wasn't. Think about that. Just, uh, just from that, think about that. Now, it's not, there's nothing wrong with reading your history. I've read most books. What, got, what has always gotten me is that these people who feel that they're gatekeepers for the rest of the Black community and leaders for the rest of the Black community and, you know, uh, psychological terrorists for the rest of the Black community, I feel like I know more than what you do. Because I've read and I've studied. But it's about maturity. Some things you shouldn't study, you shouldn't read about until you have the maturity to be able to process it. And I, I really do believe that. Don't read about slavery if you don't have the, the ability to process it and look at the global picture. Because what I see is when people start studying history, they pick and choose a black history in this, in this country. They pick and choose what they want. And it's usually going to be a gaslighting tool to keep others blacks in line. Like who can, who thinks, I mean, what craziness is it to think that other people in our community can say, well, this person's gay, so they're, they, you know, they're going to hell. This person's a lesbian, so they're going to hell. But it's all right if she's bisexual, because then that means I can fulfill my fantasy in the name of Jesus. You feel me? What type of insanity does a person have to think that you can strip me of my skin that you can strip me of this host because I don't agree with you. That's insane. That's a narcissist. So get away from those types of people. Get away from those types of people because all in all, because when I think about it, when I reflect on my life as I'm doing this, I have no, no, no choice but to reflect. Because I want to relate to you guys. I want you guys to know what I've been through and why I'm standing here today. Because it was not a, for a lack of trying to take my life that I'm here today. It's because I had a strong foundation in my faith and I was willing to evolve and change. And sometimes in some cultures, the narcissists do not want us to change. When we look at, so some, you know, I'm teaching you guys how to deal with relationships and coworkers and family members, how to identify them and how to, you know, uh, uh, manage your life around them if you still have to be around them. And that is through knowing yourself, but it, it goes deeper. It's a global thing. Sometimes you do have to take yourself out of the culture. If you're white and you're dealing with racist or, or, or white supremacist uh, uh, family members or friends or whatever, you have to take yourself out of that because think about it. How many times could you have gone a different route when your heart was telling you, your spirit was telling you, I'm going to go here. This is my future. This is my purpose. And you didn't do it because you were afraid of not being white. You were afraid of being an inward lover. This has nothing to do with race or gender. This is spirituality. This is energy that is being manipulated in us to keep us out of our purpose, to keep us from being aware and getting and ma making other people aware of their purpose and of what is actually happening. 
I've noticed every time that I've started to do a video for my course, I'm still recording. Every time I've started to do a video for my course, something comes in and it's a, the loud noise. It's the same person, the same people. Every single time. I don't know these people from Adam, but it's the energy, it's the demonic spirit within them that is called, that is telling them she's starting, distract her. She's up, distract her. Now, if I would have been dealing with my old self, that wounded child, that one that was too afraid to speak up because I'd been beaten for it. I've been retaliated against for telling the truth, telling my truth, not wanting to assimilate into a Borg mentality. If I would have still been that person, I would have hopped on her in a heartbeat, but I'm not anymore, right? And this is where I want you guys, Phoenix, I want you got you phoenixes to know who you are, to have control. It's okay to think things through. It's okay to say no. It's a complete sentence. It doesn't matter what color they are, what gender they are, what sexual orientation they are, whatever their fucking pronouns. It doesn't matter. It's about you and your purpose. I have had people, I have had distractions in one way, shape or, or form, since I've been working on this course. I did a mini course, I had the same type of distractions. But I posted that mini course, I completed that mini course. I'm completing this full course because I know that somebody, many people need to hear what it is that I have to say, that I am going to be able to tap into other people who are going to be able to relate. I'm going to be able to relate to them. There's going to be something that I say that they relate to. So sometimes the distractions can not only be people, but people of your own race, people of your own community. You know, sometimes the distraction can be what you've been told to accept as normal. And when you realize what you're worth and what you deserve, you no longer fit in that. It's no longer acceptable. All right? So your blessings are in your ashes. Rise, Phoenix.